Strollbot versus CSAA. On the map opposition, I think this is going to be a really good match. Rush. Okay, the lucky robot just was in the spawn from CSA. Very defensive placing here. Really taking it slow. There's a Humvee Rusher, Rain is up on the caliber. but really easily there was basically no opposition here from CSAA I don't know why they took off so slowly there's an offensive Humvee coming just right on the street, Strybot right again, that's Toham V, I don't know what he's trying to do with this, there's even a vehicle to kill anywhere, so of course he gets killed. CSAA is really slowly advancing towards the eastern farm now. Coordinated attack also from the harbor, from the middle. Acutries. He's out the zone by himself basically now. Stoybot is in trouble, they have to get back. I haven't seen where they place the spawn now. It's not anywhere near the eastern zone as far as I can see. They must have placed it somewhere west. Stoybot is now advancing far down the southwestern side with three players. Really, I think they're looking for the CSA spawn somewhere there. Well, Carlos is at the harbor, they have CSA has three players guarding the eastern zone. And just one strawbot attacking range is already under fire. I don't think this is gonna work out just by himself. Archon is flanking him from the right. If that continues, he's not going to be able to hold on much longer. This, this was a mistake from him, you know. Rain, top one. Still two on one in the eastern farm, and CSA can manage the situation easily here, so. They've cleared out the eastern farm now. The Strybot doesn't have any of their players anywhere on the eastern side of the map even. They've got all the players down at the bottom. Mario up on the western tower overwatching. Looking at the eastern zone. Maybe he can snipe some CSA players from there. I think both teams are just getting to know each other's tactic. Both are really taking it slow, even though I think West has to really push 
and try to get ahead on this map. And Fisher takes out the spawn of CSAA. Now a friendly kill that we have in situation. And Fisher takes out one, is down himself now. But CSA only has one player in the eastern zone. He's isolated at this moment. The spawn is down. And now, if, if Stroybot pushes ahead now, they can basically take advantage of this, which one player is gonna do. Rain is actually now past the zone with, this, with the motorbike. I don't get that. He doesn't care about the zone, he just rushes past it, or maybe he wants to come up from ahead, I mean... He knows he was being shot at, but... Really strange tactic if you ask me. Magic... Michael, I would say, his name is... is holding the zone by himself, and <laughs> he's, he has success with this, so... As long as it works. Acrutis is now down. He was up ahead with a, with a UAZ, but that didn't last long at all. Taken out by Mario. And CSA brings up the spawn again. Already down the hill. Now this is also very risky, so... If they know what they're doing... So, of course, that was gonna happen. F Fisher just really happy to just take out that spawn. It's a nice gift for Stroybot. And Stroybot actually doesn't seem to care at all about the Eastern Zone at this moment. They just. <laughs> they have four players down south of the Eastern Zone on the streets, some southwest, and they just let Majik here score the points by himself. Uh, maybe this is going to change, you know, they just rushing, Rain is rushing with the Humvee inside the eastern farm. And he sets the timer. Oh, that's a nice, nice play. That, that wasn't much opposition at all so now CSA has to make a, a standard flanking move I think with their with one of their RPG soldiers maybe a motorbike flanking from the west the spawn is positioned along the streets this is not doesn't look like innovation at this moment Honza sees his target. But he gets shot at already. Three players from CSA now advancing towards the middle. Three on one. No, actually, Fisher is being covered from the eastern zone by Rain's Humvee. 50 caliber machine gun, so he maybe has a chance to defend his position somewhere. There's already an engagement here. And Fisher wins this one, but he's hurt. His aim is gonna be off now. If he moves even, even more around at this moment, then he's gonna have a hard time to survive. But this, these are important moments now for the West. They have zo both zones secured. They have a sniper up at the top of the Western Tower. They have one camper to the West looking out for any flankers. Fisher managed to take out another one. Hans are now moving back.
Now Fisher is down. The path is basically clear to advance to the eastern zone. But rain is holding the eastern zone clear. Now he's out of his Humvee, I don't know why. He can have much better accuracy and range from the Humvee, but maybe that's an obvious thing to do, so maybe just switch his position for now. Strober is just really good at holding the zones at the moment. And CSA really have to, st they have to spread out because they are all basically at one in one spot, three s three of them right behind each other, so they that th that won't work. Maybe against uh, something uh, stationary or something, but this doesn't work. They they have to be quick. They are too careful, I think, at this moment. Strawbot has uh, a lot of time to get into a uh, good defensive position to scan the horizon, to organize themselves. Ah! They already got shot at, but he can he can have a chance if he just hides somewhere under the bushes and just watches under those apple trees there. So he has a good chance of hitting someone with that big machine gun. Strobert is somehow thinking they they all come from the west. Maybe they're even anticipating like uh, a flanking move, which anyone would do, I would say, at this point. But maybe they just don't think that CSA doesn't even bother to flank at this moment. They just go straight through the middle, and nobody really expects that from Strobert. I think they're just waiting for some flankers there, but nobody's even going near that. Three players towards the middle but they need to move to that zone Arshon here is now looking on the ground I don't know what what they're communicating maybe organizing themselves on the map or something Honzak peeks at the eastern zone the Tohumli is still in action so you could use that Maybe as a surprise to rush into one of the zones. <laughs> Captain Carlos and the rest of the whole CSA team on the street basically. All five are basically on the street. One has managed to get into, uh, into the eastern zone now that he's taking, he took out rain. Now they have to t make use of that time, they have to at least have uh, held the zone for one minute to score some points uh, and try to catch up to the western side here because if you, and now if he moves out too, fa too far then it's going to be over. He has to watch out that western tower is really dangerous I think at the moment, no he's, he's down. Right at this moment they need this, the sniper up there, so he's going back. Uh, well, I don't know if, if that was a good thing from Stroiber to just let them go through the middle there. They must have had one who's just at least watching somewhere that and tell the rest of the team that nobody is flanking. So <coughs> see all the players just basically running on the, on the railway there. That wasn't very very inventive or something but they managed to get away with this three three CSA now in the eastern zone they really want to hold the zone now Fisher is trying to advance from the yellow house he's close uh, this CSA is playing a really tight group here, that they're all basically just a few meters away from each other. One grenade and it's over for them. While Fisher is advancing, nobody's even watching the entrance of the of the barn. 
Fisher takes out one easy flanking move. But now it's over for him, but it's already only two players now. From CSA holding the zone. Rain is coming to take a look. Mario on the tower. Honza holding the western farm. Holding on tightly there. Deloy. He's got a machine gun, so maybe he wants to take a r long range shot at some flankers there, but. Nobody's gonna come from that side. They all have to basically watch the rails. Oh, there's there's one CSA advancing right to his position now. And yeah, now we can see him finally. Well, that took some convincing there <laughs> to take him out. It was easy shot, man. It would have been really bad if he had missed that one. To be honest, I don't know at the moment what to make of these tactics. I think both teams are sort of assessing where the enemy is. At the moment, they are not really even sure, I would say, where where they are or, or what tactic they have. One one player is uh, sandwiched between uh, two CSAA, two from the zone, one to the left of the zone. Oh no, he's down, but... A one player attack. Maybe it will work. It wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me at the moment because everything else that is basically standard tactic, I would say, for any other team is just uh, not applied here. They just see where they are, may maybe shoot one, and then try to get in. Maybe it's also an advantage to t attack alone when you have two people in the zone because the zone timer is not reset if it's two on one and then you can slowly and surely exclude any camping areas. But now he's exposed. They must know he's in here now somewhere. Carlos, I think he just missed, missed him. He a few seconds before he looked out and then he would have gotten them. Okay, now rain is down. And the Shilka is coming now. I think... I think from CSA. Yeah, that's uh, Akutris advancing. That didn't make much sense, I think. Five points for Stroybots. Oh, now we got a... Okay, I just thought we had a disconnect here. Fisher takes one down. Well, I think nobody on either team seems to be in a hurry here to to make something of the situation uh, because once uh, you you really put someone under pressure, then s things start to go wrong, and you can exploit lots of these things. So the Shilka just went down. You could have tried to push right into the eastern zone from there, but again. 
one on ones on the eastern zone. So Fisher, Fisher's being shot at by one of one of his own players, I think. Well, at least they captured the the eastern zone. So Strawbat, Strawbat is now being flanked from behind by Carlos. I think he ran out of the zone and checked somewhere near the tower to find the east uh, to find the Strawbat spawn, but. It must be near the western zone there. Well, that, that's an interesting tactic here. Daylo is somewhere near the the eastern kill zone. Is he reporting on some troop movements there? Well, what he's seeing, or is he trying to kill the spawn because he doesn't even have an RPG? Mario's back up at the tower. A standoff at the eastern zone. One on one, Carlos camps near the northern part of the zone. Now advancing. Okay, that, that was it. Strobat has both zones again. They have the western zone for I uh, since I think since from the beginning of the whole match. So this is um, this is lots of points for them up till now. Uh, until now, this is already 309 points. To 92 for Stroy, but they're leading by 200 points, and we have eight minutes left. And CSA is moving to spawn now. I think that's just about time that they do that. It's much too late, so they just have to really figure out a different way of. Lodging as Stroybot from their positions because, as far as I can see, all, all of these engagements with this in the zones were just a, either an overkill attempt with three players on rushing in or just one on ones. So, if they manage to actually separate some Stroybot players from the middle and then make a coordinated push towards. I think now, now even the CSA spawn is down, so not looking really good. But if if CSA could a at least push United towards one zone, then that would be really good. But now their spawn is down. They there's one Strawbot right in the middle, shooting at everyone, and they CSA only has one player left, somewhere towards. The West. Not a red dot. Uh, not, not even one player on the map from CSA at this moment. They're all coming back from the spawn. And they bring the spawn again. shot from rain there but it was again very obvious that they would, they would that they would get killed from there because uh, there's nobody from your team advancing securing your your movement so of course that's gonna happen Accutrice is now looking at the tower really occupied with this I think that's the least of their problems you have to now you, you have just have to advance 
just run in and kill the guy, try try to do something there, but you're not gonna get him from there. And you're very likely to get killed from behind or from the sides because you're just basically laying there on an open field. But now he now he even got him. This is this is <laughs> surprising. <laughs> but now he's being shot at as well. All of these engagements, I don't think they even threaten the bases, the the west or east at all. But you just have to see what they have, to, uh, what they can do now, because I think one Shilka went down, and three spawns from CSA also went down. So, and again, one Fisher is just running between the lines here openly. Not even sneaking or something. That just has to go wrong because now he's now, now he's basically on the other side. He has a CSA player. I think he even heard him now. Honzak is just about to see him. Easy shot. But if you ask me, that's much too slow. They have to take risks now and make a push constant push coordinated and at least challenge the zone for uh, for one second to keep them from scoring the points for at least one minute Dela is now surrounded, takes out one CSA behind him. Oh, he takes out another one, but behind him someone is advancing. And again, <laughs> he doesn't really see him at this moment. If he's gonna shoot then he's really in trouble. This is this is gonna go wrong now for one of them. They can basically, s they can see each other, no problem, now now, now he's seeing him. Carlos, just just as the second that he saw him, he De Deloy moved. I think now, now the stupid script is blocked or something. Let's just see what we can do here. Yes, script script doesn't work anymore, so but I but I don't think we we are missing something here because Stroybot really has this thing secured. Now it looks like we get back into this game. Honza is still there where we last saw him about 20 minutes ago. Able to hold the same position. C 
CSA is now advancing from the middle. And now the game is over already, so... That's not gonna be a good one, so sc final score for the first round is 463 to 104 for Stroybot. So they have at least 350 points lead to CSAA. This is gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna take a miracle maybe to for them to come back, but uh, anything is possible. Actually, I think they could have done a lot, lot better if they had just pushed up aggressively, they waited too much, I think. So now we got the ready here from both teams. This is the second round from the Stroybot vs. CSAA match. The first round was won by Stroybot with about 350 points lead. And now CSA they have to work some miracles here. This is a camp for catching the rush. seen a, a UAZ explode just from bumping into another UAZ just like that he didn't even have much speed I don't know maybe he killed himself or something respawned or something I have no idea but this is not good for them now because the SPG 9 Jeep is actually very good on, uh, on heavy targets long distance shots CSA brings out the big guns with the Shilka, tries to make a difference here on the eastern farm because Stroybot just walked in I think and just took it. There was not even a really an engagement. As far as I, I could see now they went out of the, the zone and the timer was reset. I think that was unnecessary really. There was Deloy. Maybe he saw something. And that's really dangerous to come out of the out of his cover now and just take a peek. Because the, the sugar can see him just like as it like now he just took him out. So so far so good for CSA, so they have to do exactly that and now Fisher takes out the uh, She'll go with a small, I think. No, it was an RPG-7 because they are east. Rain just walks into the eastern zone. Arshon now looking, advancing towards the eastern zone. He's being covered maybe from the right. Um, Mike, Majiku, I just, I still can't spell his name, pronounce his name really. Somebody has to tell me how to do it because these uh, Russian Croatian names are really difficult for me somehow. Rain holding his own by himself, he's just about to be backed up from the south by Deloy. We've got a really uh, a zoomed view from from Daylow here. I don't know if that's a bug. 
wouldn't surprise me either now. But we have some action. Arshon is now just about to enter the zone. If you can, yeah, he just resetted it. He was just on time because Delo is. If he enters the zone now, they, they take it. He's already been spotted. Some lag as far as, as far as I was concerned, I didn't really hear the shot properly, but Rain was quicker, but he got taken out. Now there's some heavy fighting over the eastern zone. Daylor covering the area. Slowly advancing here. If he had some cover from behind, that would be good for him. Yeah, that's the kind of caliber we they need right now. Carlos is he's crouching. Uh, no, he's he's proning on the ground. So can he even see through this through his leaves? Because he's he's down uh, on the beach there. But there's no... I think there's a ship coming. It sounds like Strybot wants to attack the western zone from here. Friendly fire now from CSAA. I think this is the second time now for them to have a friendly kill. Some confusion going on. I didn't even... I don't even think that Carlos knew that. His, his mate was in front of him advancing there. Maybe he thought that that's the enemy, uh, even though it was his friend which he saw in front of him. So that could, could be the reason why he was proning there. Now, a risky tactic here for Mario is pounding down the western farm there. And grenades from Lex. Mario takes one out. They're gonna be in trouble here. Timer is reset. Lex is advancing. Mario takes out the second just, just with the shulker. That worked out really good here. For Stray, but they didn't have the RPG anywhere near that to take him out. The small has, has an advantage. Over the RPG-7, longer range, Rain takes care of the rest on the eastern farm in in the two-on-one engagement. And now CSA is forced to bring the Shilka as well. I could just hear it somewhere here. Oh, that's a friendly fire kill. This is this is really bad, Honzek. Totally confused. Totally confused. Killed his own his own shilka. Uh, I don't know if there's any communication at all going on here at this moment. Maybe they just frustrated or they just want to have fun or something, I don't know, but they are not having much of a chance here because Shilka is not even advancing past the zones. Two men operated now, three kills from Mario. He's just clearing out the whole area, pushing them back. They don't have the spawn truck anywhere. Yeah, well, you tell me how they're gonna do that now, I don't have no idea. Now, Shilka's retreating, and this is Honzak's move to. Well, he was lucky he didn't he didn't lose his whole equipment here. But there are four CSA players all of a sudden here. Oh, did I miss something? Maybe I did. The tactic seems to have been to swim across the small pond here. Oh, no, they have the respawn truck in the water. That's kind of weird. 
I think uh, the the script doesn't allow you to spawn if you have a respawn truck near the walls or or maybe it was near the zone. One of those two doesn't really doesn't really matter either. But they have taken out the shilker now. At least something for them now they can advance. But they're advancing through the open fields partially. Fisher is holding them down. Some RPG fire here. Returning fire, Honzak didn't have any luck there, but at least some tactical victory. This the barn is down. Now he's being yeah, he's being spotted, fired upon. Fisher knows where he is. to see the last minutes here. Nothing has changed as far as I can see. Stroybot still holding both zones, but CS AA has ad managed to advance just a few meters in front of the western zone. They are holding the western zone, this is where most of the action is going on right now. Strybot has a sniper up on the northern tower. Mario is looking to pick off some CSA players. I think the CSA spawn truck is still in the water there. And they have to swim across every time to advance. But Mario has spotted some of them I think. Honzak now looking, scanning the horizon with his binoculars. Mario takes out one from the tower. Actually, Arshon now has taken the western zone, and the CSA even have ha has <coughs> one player between between the western. Now we have actually CSAA has managed to hold the western zone, to my surprise. Strawbot is out of the area, They're, they've been pushed back. I don't know if this is enough to come close to to challenge uh, Strawbot's victory because they have they've held the zones for a really long time now. C CSAA was behind with at least 350 points. There's a fight going on inside the tower. Acutrius knows that he's, that he's uh, got the sniper on top of him. He's looking to advance. I think he has, he has still to go a few steps up, so I think he can do that. That's not the top of the stairs here. Ah, but also Mario, he knows that someone is down there. So while nothing is happening, he's looking to take out some more. It's an interesting standoff at, in, in the tower. Now Ecutree is slowly advancing, getting closer to the action. Oh, he can he can nearly see him. I can I can even see his rifle. So why doesn't he start shooting? Maybe uh. Our pistol shots here from uh. Mario. He can't look up there, so he's rolling away. Mario now has him. And actually still takes him out. At least uh, a nice victory here in the tower. So. Good to have that on camera. Uh, but now the western zone is under threat, so we have we have Fisher taking out Honzak in the zone. 
recapturing the western zone and no 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 CSA player anywhere near it and I think that's because of they they haven't moved the spawn at all even though everyone knows by now where, where the spawn is maybe the spawn is even down now because they're advancing with, with the motorcycles Robert brings the Shulker now. Seven minutes left in the game. Strobert leading by at least, yeah, maybe nearly, nearly 200 points. That's not looking good for CSA. I have, uh, I have really no idea how, uh, how all these games uh, keep on turning out with these big point differences because. The, the the sides are are more than balanced, and uh, the skill I, I can see is is uh, really good from from the players. They they just uh, have weird coordinations sometimes. I think, and there are some uh, really uneven matchups some of the times. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the, uh, for most teams, this is uh, uh, the first time playing these these sorts of games because uh, actually some of the ESL maps were played in these kind of modes. And now the Shuka is uh, taking an RPG as expected, but he managed to do some damage, at least keeping CSA away from the zones. They are totally pushed back. Behind the bridge, even I think. Uh, three player formation a advancing on the western zone. Fisher takes one down. Nice shot there through the bushes. Firing back, it's trouble to hit him. If you can just hit him, he's he hasn't hit him, I think. Fisher is confident enough to just wait there and just uh, heal up as as he's hit. Now changing position. Lex is backing him up. He's he's got a scope. He's gonna have more success maybe. And they're being flanked from behind now. Oh, Mario. And Honzak are driving past each other. I can't believe this. They just drove past each other. I think maybe one of them has seen him. Yeah. Mario has seen him. Now reversing. And oh, there he is, right in front of the spawn. They should have done that, I think, 25 minutes ago. But he is just taking his time, running around. So, shot. I don't know why he circled around, but at least Strybot's spawn is down now. They have to bring up the spawn next time. RPG shots now from the western tower, no, the northern tower. To the east zone. Oh, misses the target and completely explodes above the water. So I don't know if that could have done any damage at all. Dalo now takes some shots at CSA.
Oh, we still have Honzak here from behind. If he can do something, he can at least cause some distraction at the eastern farm, and because it's only being held by one player, because yeah, they they have less than five minutes left. So why don't just risk everything until now? So just run in there. Yeah, but now he actually he missed his target, and Rain knows just about where the direction was from where he was fired upon. So he has hopefully informed his team about where he may may be. So the pressure should be put on him now, and he would have to move also. Advancing with his, with his jeep, now he's facing the wrong direction. He's run over? No, he, he wasn't. That is, he, he just missed him, but I think he's hurt him. Yeah. Western spawn still in the water. I don't even know if they can still move the spawn. Maybe they they can't even move it anymore. Acutrees is camping in the bushes. If he can hold this position, then he can uh, secure a nice slow advance for them. Lex is using a scope for to stand up He's being hit under fire. Arshon here, he doesn't. He doesn't have any legs now. He has, he has to crawl. Now oh, that's the end of the game. There was an easy victory here for Stroybot. Um, I think. Very, very nicely played by Strobot. They had some good coordination. I think CSA really has, has to work on, on their tactic to try to uh, have some successes in this league. Uh, maybe they will learn from this. Uh, maybe watch the replay and uh, see some of their mistakes. You can clearly see on the maps uh, where they had uh, totally not advanced properly and had no coordination. I think they can easily improve their game if they if they want to. They now move into the loser bracket. Strobot is now facing uh, KND1, I think, uh, or KND2, one of one of those two two teams. Um, it was a good game though. Some good shots, some good plays. Um, I'm gonna upload this video also very soon on YouTube so you can watch it at acturnaments.uk.com and uh, thanks for watching this was Mess Refuge until next time